hello youtube education it here welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'll be taking you through the various steps you use in creating frequency and separation layers for both 8-bit and 16-bit images enjoy this tutorial you have to first duplicate your original layer into two by pressing ctrl j on your keyboard and um, select the first layer and name that first layer your high or texture layer and then the second one your lower or the tones so after doing that you turn off your high texture layer and then select the lower uh, tones and go to filter blur gaussian blur and then you get a preview panel for the gaussian blur so with that preview panel you make sure you move your mouse icon and select um, an area of the image where there are a lot of textures so that you can actually see what is happening when you are um, pushing your radial slider to your right and then when you are pushing it back to your left so you actually see the difference so um, pay rapt attention to this um, side because it's very very important to you your frequency separation layers so i think 6.2 is okay for this image because with that you are not seeing any textures or tones so you can click ok and then toggle on or toggle back on your high texture layer select the high texture layer and go to image apply image and with the apply image preview panel open you go to your blending modes and this is actually for the 8-bit images this this process is meant for 8-bit images alone so with that you go to your blending mode and select subtract so you select subtract and then um, your scale you leave your opacity at 100 your scale to your offset 128 and make sure preserve transparency is not ticked and then you go to your layer and make sure you always select your lower or tones layer and that is the process for 8-bit images so for 16-bit images whereby this image is a 16-bit image the process is you go to your blending mode and select um, add not subtract add and then your scale is at 2 your offset is at 0 and then you tick the invert box so that is going to give you that um, that type of effects and then make sure preserve transparency is not selected and press ok so with that done you select your high or textured layer you go to your blending modes and you select linear light to bring back the image so with that done you group both layers and name it your fx or frequency frequency and separation layer sorry so this is basically the process i use in creating the processes you can use in creating your 8-bit and 16-bit frequency and separation layers and then you go ahead by selecting your brush go to your brush and then select the mixer brush make sure your clean brush is selected um, with my wet 9 load 71 mix 90 flow at 100 you start mixing the tones and textures on the model skin thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll meet you another time.